Welcome to TalkAboutTopeka.com. I'm Chris Schultz. On this episode, we'll talk to the president and CEO of Meals on Wheels, Miss Heidi Pickerel. This episode is brought to you by the WIBW channels and Dinner with the Dead, a theatrical seance appearing at the Break Room. Get your tickets now at BreakRoomDowntown.com. Sit back, relax, because it all starts right now. I am here today with uh, the president and CEO of Meals on Wheels, Miss Heidi Pickerel. How are you doing? Doing well, Chris. Thank you. Uh, so, thanks so much for coming and uh, being on the show with us today. Appreciate the opportunity. You know, Meals on Wheels, it's got a really, really catchy name. And I thought I knew all about Meals on Wheels until I started looking it up to uh, research for this segment. And it turns out there's a lot of things I had no clue about Meals on Wheels. So uh, uh, Heidi, you want to tell us a little about what Meals on Wheels is? Sure. Here in Topeka, Kansas, Kansas, Meals on Wheels started back in 1972. So we've been at this going on our 40th year, which is phenomenal, uh, providing nutritious meals to individuals that are homebound in their homes. So how did how did they get the whole concept for this? I mean, did they just, is that a need that, that didn't exist previously? And Well, I, ironically, much like hospice and a lot of other services, it originated in England. And so uh, carried over um, the sea and here we are providing meals. Very cool, very cool. Well, and, and it's also providing, uh, you know, the people who get the meals a little bit of company as well. We're fortunate. We have about 1,300 volunteers throughout Shawnee and Jefferson County wow. that assist us uh, provide these meals to those individuals throughout both counties. Wow. So that in and itself does speak to the socialization, but even probably more than that is the fact that a, a wellness check occurs. Mm -hmm. If individuals don't answer the door when the volunteer arrives, yeah. we can immediately kickstart in trying to find out what in fact is occurring. Wow. Did someone forget the meal was coming at that particular time, which we do see sure. or is there something perhaps more serious occurring um, a fall um, any number of things so it really is much more than just that nutritious meal it really is uh, that safety check for the most vulnerable typically in our community somebody coming by and knocking on the door saying hey yeah that's great that's Absolutely. wonderful uh, how do uh, how many people do you guys serve on a typical day, it's mm -hmm. nearly a thousand meals. Wow. We do about 600 meals uh, into the home, and about 400 of those meals are distributed out to a number of congregate sites. So, places strategically placed throughout the counties uh, where individuals can come together and visit and socialize, even uh, have resources available to them, but also, again, providing that nutritious meal. So, those locations, like maybe they're church or something like that it, that people can go to? It varies a or? tremendous amount. There are a number in churches, mm -hmm. uh, but as well as community center, centers out in our rural areas and in Jefferson County. Wow. Uh, again, that nutritious meal can certainly be tied to any number of issues that are currently facing us. Sure. Uh, up to and including helping manage chronic illness, helping avoid those hospitalizations, and perhaps even most importantly, preventing that premature nursing facility placement. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And, and you think about that, do you have other people that may be home? I mean, you, you think about you know, elderly folks, but right. are there other people that, that get Meals on Wheels? We do receive funding specifically for uh, seniors, 60 years of age and older. Mm -hmm. However, Meals on Wheels, Hiff, Shawnee, and Jefferson County actually has no age limit. Mm -hmm. uh, we continuously seek out funding to make sure that any individual that is homebound has that access to the meal, up to and including the caregiver that is providing care to them. We've had uh, children who are perhaps uh, struggling struggling with a, a physical limitation, mm -hmm. and we just want to make sure that, in fact, they are receiving that nutrition that is appropriate to keep them healthy. Wow. And, you know, it's one of those things you don't even think about, what it would be like to be homebound and what it would truly mean to have someone show up at your house to say hi and to drop off a nutritious meal. I mean, that's just, it's really a, a service that I don't think anyone would really think about until they've really been put in that situation and really, really praise it. So I, I think, thank you for the work that you're doing. And, Appreciate you know, that. we all hope that, uh, you know, we never need to call you, but we know right. that it's kind of inevitable someday that we will. Absolutely. And it's great to know that you guys are there. So 
it's tremendously rewarding. Uh, I think not only for the volunteers that deliver those meals, but certainly for the staff striving to, to carry out that mission. And, and how do folks get involved? I see you have a lot of volunteers. How do people uh, decide, hey, I want to go volunteer with Meals on Wheels? How do they get involved with you guys? Again, we are very fortunate. Um, we have a number of partners throughout the counties uh, that are make up, made up of corporations. Mm -hmm. And oftentimes, uh, corporations will contact us. Uh, it's a very easy way to give back to the community. It's very timely and efficient. So it's, it's very nice for their staff to be able to participate uh, sure. to that degree. But the other group really is individuals who are seeking out uh, a way to give back, mm -hmm. whether that's perhaps they had a family member or an experience of their own related to Meals on Wheels and truly just want to be engaged and involved. Mm -hmm. um, we're fortunate they they call upon us, but we do outreach in our health fairs and, and all of those good things. Sure. And you guys are, are partnered with uh, USD 501, correct? And how the meals are, are prepared. Tell us how all that uh, process happens. Well, we um, did start a collaboration with Topeka Public Schools uh, well over a year ago. Mm -hmm. As part of that collaboration, we're able to work together and even looking into opportunities for the students to mm -hmm. participate and become engaged in learning opportunities mm -hmm. up to and including how does the uh, an operation of a not-for-profit go? Yeah. Uh, what about grant writing? So really opening their eyes to different uh, career paths that may be tied to social services and giving them that opportunity to do so. So we're really looking forward to uh, enhancing that uh, relationship in, in that way. And everything's been working good. We are very, very pleased. Uh, Topeka Public Schools is very responsive to our clients and the creativeness that they use uh, with the menus and preparation of that food. It, the, the level of pride with that and the staff that are creating those meals is tremendous. A thousand meals a day, man, that's a lot of food to be putting out. That's a lot of food. <laughs> but that's really wonderful that, uh, that, it, that everybody's doing that. How many people does it take to, to make a thousand meals? You'd be surprised how efficient uh, Topeka Public Schools are. Mm -hmm. I would say uh, right around five uh, staff come in very early in the morning and get that process starting. Wow. Started, pardon me. And then Meals on Wheels has a staff that then help with the packaging and getting that ready to be distributed out, along mm -hmm. with some paid drivers, because mm -hmm. again, reaching out to our Rossvilles and our Auburns, sure. uh, then in Jefferson County, sure. it's important to get that um, out as, as quickly as possible. So, sure, sure. And how, how affordable is it for folks? Well, it is an affordable option. There is funding available that allows individuals over the age of 60 to receive that meal based on a contribution if they're capable of doing so. Wow. But we do ask if, for those that are able to give that they consider $2.95. I... Two dollars and ninety. You can't get anything for two ninety five. Um, <laughs> That's a wonderful deal. We believe so. We yeah, believe yeah. So. And I was looking at your website and I saw the the menus that were on there. And uh, uh, two dollars and ninety five cents for those meals is is a wonderful deal for folks. So we of course are held to very high standards in Absolutely. relation to the required daily allowances, and it is a well balanced meal uh, for two dollars and ninety five cents. It's really a, a treat and a pleasure to know that you guys are are doing all that Thank for uh, for Topeka, Sean. County and Jefferson County. Yes. How'd you guys reach out to Jefferson County? It really was a number of years ago. Uh, the need was was there, and mm -hmm. we were able to meet that need. Um, certainly, finding that economy of scale is is helpful, uh, particularly for programs that are are smaller. And um, we're very pleased, as a Jefferson County resident myself, I'm very pleased that we're able to do that. You know, every every organization, in order to have those meals that are very affordably priced, and the, running the operation that you do, you you need to have some uh, not only great volunteers, but you need to have some fundraising initiatives. Uh, what kind of fundraising initiatives throughout the year do you guys work on? We primarily focus on two. Uh, mm -hmm. One is held in the early summer. We actually held our first event out at Heartland Park and we called that Pedal to the Metal. And it cool. was just a, a fun evening where folks could come out and enjoy a good meal cool. as well as some racing down the track. And uh, just it was a phenomenal evening.
evening. So we were very pleased with that. But additionally, we also have a fundraiser in the fall, and mm -hmm. that is referred to as Sumptuous Evening. And so that's right around the corner. Uh, cool. It is a semi-formal event, and a number of Taste of Topeka will be there, meaning restaurants bring menus. Uh, you can so individual their wares. Sa yes. Sample their wares. All so right. it's uh, a live auction, just different things that truly give us an opportunity to raise those necessary funds. Excellent, excellent. Well, as you hear about this stuff, you need to get out and support it because they're doing some wonderful work here with Meals on Wheels. Uh, Heidi, I can't let you go until we do the notorious lightning round. Okay. That's where I put uh, 60 seconds on the clock, ask you a bunch of silly questions, and, uh, and we see how it ends up. Okay. All right, 60 seconds. Uh, let's go. If you were an animal, what kind of animal would you be? A dog. Oh, I'm a dog person. Too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you could bring a dead celebrity back to life, ask him one question, who would it be and what question would you ask? Michael Jackson. Why did you take all that medicine? It's a question we've all been asking. Yeah. I don't know. All right. Let's see. What's your favorite kind of food? Uh, I enjoy steak and potatoes. All right. I'm a farm yeah, girl. Yeah. All right. Are you from Kansas? I am. All right. It makes perfect sense. Yes, right. <laughs> uh, at a movie theater, which armrest is yours? Uh, the right. Okay. All right. All right. Good deal. <laughs> uh, in your opinion, uh, what was the greatest movie ever made? Uh, perhaps Gone with the Wind. Ah, it's a wonderful movie. All right, and what's your favorite charitable organization? Uh, of course, that very near and dear to my heart is Meals on Wheels. Ah, uh, it's Meals on Wheels. One more question. What's your favorite television show to watch Tuesday nights on my TV? Talk about Topeka. Hey, there we go. Heidi, thank you so much. Thank and you. please keep up all the great work. And as things come up, just keep us updated so we can tell everyone what Meals on Wheels is doing. Appreciate that. Right. Thank you. Guys. Thank you. Thanks for tuning into this episode of TalkAboutTopeka.com. I'm Chris Schultz. If you liked what you saw today, please help our guests spread their message by sharing our videos with your friends. You can also find us on Facebook, Twitter, and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. This episode of Talk About Topeka was brought to you by the WIBW channels and Field of Greens, a garden bistro in downtown Topeka. Topeka's number one salad bar, according to me. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Remember, keep talking about Topeka.